Hi there, I just wanted to quickly run through the basics of using the Dermlight DL3 Dermatoscope. This device has got a power button and polarization change button on one side and a pigment boost button on the other side. And that's when it's been looked at from the practitioner's side. This is the contact plate for the patient. So to turn the device on, you just press and hold the button on the right hand side for about a second, it turns on, press and hold it again to turn it off. Once it's on, a short press, or a tap will just toggle between polarized and non-polarized. It always comes on in polarized mode. With the pigment boost, it's the same thing. You just tap that to toggle back and forth between pigment boost on or off. And you can do that in either contact or non-contact, polarized or non-polarized modes. Pigment boost is just some orange LEDs that soften the bright white light, particularly if you're used to an old halogen dermatoscope. Um, and it also um, can help in pigmented lesions. And the theory is that different colors penetrate to different depths. If you don't like it, just leave it turned off. Um, now to do uh, contact or non-contact mode, in non-contact mode, the spacer is retained inside the body and you hover above the surface of the skin, about a centimeter or so away. And I like to use my um, middle finger there just to hold against the skin, which just gives me the right distance and braces it um, consistently. Now, as you look through it, you'll see if it's not in focus, just slightly move it forward or back to get the focus sharper. To do contact mode, where you want to compress the lesion, flatten it out to see deeper in, just wind the spacer out like that. There's a hole on the side and a long white line. Just roughly line that up with the edge of that um, green bevel there, and that'll give you a great view to start. And you can then just press it against the skin and fine tune that focus just to suit your visual acuity. For cleaning purposes, the practitioner side is a um, optical lens, so just a, a glasses or lens cleaner, a soft cloth to clean that only. On the patient side, it's glass plate, so you can use an alcohol swab to clean that. To clean the inside, if you need to, you just unscrew this beveled piece here till it pops off, wind the spacer all the way out, and again, with alcohol, you can clean the inside of that. Just polish it with a soft cloth after you've done to remove any um, residue. But on the other side, the device side, just use a soft cloth only, no alcohol. You don't want to break down the uh, um, the filter that's uh, the polarizing filter that's on the inside there. To put it back together, you've got three little notches there and three slots corresponding on the device. Just line them up and just wind it back and forth till it fits in and wind the spacer all the way in. Don't force it. Um, jiggle it around if it's not quite positioned correctly to begin with and it'll go in. On the back you've got a, a number three here that lights up green when you're operating with it. Um, if it's gone orange it's a low indicator it needs to be charged. When it's sitting in the charging stand that turns red which means it's charging and it'll automatically turn green once it's done so that indicates that it's fully charged and ready to go. You don't have to fully charge it to use it you can use it at any point but once it's green you know it's uh, it's fully charged. Thank you.